CFDs can be used to trade gold and silver. It's just like trading shares or any other assets. CFDs are a convenient way to profit from an increase in price without the headaches of storing the physical metals. Silver is particularly interesting for the trader since it differs from gold in a couple of respects. Pretty much all the gold that's ever been found still exists in the form of jewellery and other items. Meanwhile, there's very little silver left of what has been mined. That's because it gets used up in many different industrial processes. Given its unique characteristics, the industrial uses for silver are immense. There are new uses for silver found every day. For instance, silver is a good conductor and is used in electronics such as mobile phones and in the pharmaceutical market where it is a natural antibacterial metal. This demand has been sufficient to offset the drop from photography films. In contrast with gold, silver is no longer held as part of central bank reserves to any significant extent. More than 75% of freshly mined silver is used in the industrial applications which reduces the overall supply. Silver does tend to move more in tandem with gold, although it attracts less interest. When you use contracts for difference to trade silver, you will find that it is extremely efficient. The margin requirement, the amount you have to put up to enter a trade, can be as little as 0.5%. That gives you leverage of 200 to 1 on your money. In the futures market, another way to trade on commodities, you may only get a leverage of 25 to 1, which makes the CFD far more effective. Depending on your CFD broker, you may be able to trade on the spot price of silver. That is the current price. Or you can also take out a contract on the price on a future date. Using CFDs, it's as easy to profit from a fall in value as from a rise, so you're able to make money during periods of price consolidation. Your chief cost of trading is in the spread, which makes it easy to understand. Say, for example, that you wanted to take out a contract for difference for a long position in silver because you think the price will increase. You may be quoted 20.44 to 20.49. The lot size may be 500 ounces. And one advantage of using CFDs is that you're not restricted to the lot sizes offered on standard future contracts. One long contract on 500 ounces would be worth $10,245, so the margin requirement could be as little as $50, depending on your broker. If the price now goes up to 20.72 to 20.77 and you close the position, your points gain from 20.49 to 20.72 is 23. The value of the contract has gone up to $10,360 an increase of $115 for a modest gain in price on a margin of $50. Of course, leverage can work against you. If the price had fallen, you could be facing a margin call from your broker to make up your losses. If you are considering trading the silver market, instead of entering your position in one trade, consider building your position slowly in tranches. Also, do consider using guaranteed stops as the market in silver is tiny and very volatile, so when the price slips, it can move very fast. Silver usually follows the prices of gold, but often to a far greater degree, which can offer opportunities to traders who don't mind the extra risk. This means that silver tends to outperform gold when prices are rising, and vice versa when they are falling.